the angry dragon a long time ago at the foot of a mountain in china there was a lovely village the village had plenty of water and crops grew well everyone had enough to eat and people were happy then everything changed a huge noisy dragon came to live in a big hole that appeared on the top of the mountain it breathed out fire and threw up rocks from the hole Sometimes it bellowed in such a loud voice that all the people in the village left their houses and ran away to another village till the rumbling stopped. Now the clouds did not bring rain to the mountain and no cool water came trickling down. The crops dried up. Life became very hard for the villagers. They did not dare to climb the mountain to find out what was wrong. The elders in the village warned the children. Don't go near the mountain, they said. If you do, the thundering dragon is sure to get you he will take you away and eat you up all the children were really scared of the noise the dragon made and stayed away myling who was 5 years and 11 months old was the only child of her parents she spent a lot of time playing in the garden by herself she could see the top of the mountain from her garden sometimes as she played there she could see the dragon throwing out fire and rocks and making such a din that she couldn't even hear her dolls my what a tantrum she thought as she put her dolls to bed has no one taught that dragon how to behave i wonder who looks after it maybe it's just lonely she would often wonder about the dragon the more she thought about it the more she felt that the dragon was really lonely one day my ling's mother asked her you will be 6 years old soon Whom would you like to invite to your birthday party? I'll invite all my family and friends, and I'll ask the dragon as well," she announced. And she started climbing the mountain to invite the dragon. "Come back, come back, you crazy girl!" yelled her mother. "The dragon will kill you!" When Mai Ling was halfway up the mountain, there was a huge roar. From where she stood, Mai Ling could hear some of the words the dragon was roaring out. I live I alone I'm the dragon as to There was a rush of hot stones down the mountain and Myling ran back home I hope that taught you to listen to your elders scolded her mother The next day Myling's father said Myling would you like to add anyone's name to your birthday list Well I want to add the dragon's name declared Myling and set off up the mountain once more come back you stupid silly girl roared her father the dragon will pick you up and carry you away but myling wouldn't come down she had almost reached the top now she could see the enormous dragon with its huge tail it was thumping its tail and belting out a fearful song you dare not roam near my home i am the dragon breathing fire and stone Fierce flames flew out of the dragon's mouth and almost licked Mai Ling's long black hair. She turned and ran back home before the dragon could burn her up. "I hope you've learnt your lesson," said her father. "Don't ever do anything like that again." Mai Ling's birthday dawned bright and clear. It was a lovely day for a party. "I want the dragon at my party," said Mai Ling. Once more she set off up the mountain. Her father called her back. Her mother begged her not to be so foolish. Go, Go no further, further my ling. Her grandparents begged her. Her friends pleaded. Oh, oh my ling, don't, don't do this, this terrible, terrible thing. thing. But my ling went higher and higher until she reached the very top. There was a fire up there and the ground shook with the dragon's bellows. My ling heard the dragon saying, I live alone in my deep dark cave. Who comes here? so daring and brave myling said you're certainly fierce i'm sure you are lonely as well so i've come to invite you to my birthday party the dragon suddenly stopped roaring myling it said in a gentle voice nobody has ever spoken to me like that you are kinder and braver than anyone i have seen i will certainly come to your party climb on to my back and we will go down the mountain together as they went down the mountain a 
cool blue ribbon of water appeared behind them. The river followed them all the way down to the village. Once more, the village had cool, fresh water. Soon the trees grew back and the crops started thriving. The people had plenty to eat and were happy again. As for the dragon, it stayed in that village in China. The people thought of it as a mascot that brought good luck. Mai Ling became a great heroine and lived to celebrate many, many birthdays.